and immediately ordered the guards to arrest the wicked aunt. Amma, the beautiful orphan. Once upon a time, in Aladima Kingdom, there lived a beautiful maiden called Amma, who was an orphan at age six. She grew up with her paternal aunt and her aunt's children. Amma was a beautiful but humble girl. Even with all the maltreatment from her aunt and her children, Mma never hated them nor spoke badly of them. Rather, she even liked them because to her, they were her only family left. On several occasions, her aunt's children maltreated her by reminding her of her past and calling her a witch. One day, having not eaten for two days, she was so tired that she could barely walk. Yes, her aunt sent her to the village stream to fetch water and also fetch firewood for cooking. On her way to the stream, Mma collapsed. She was helpless for hours. And suddenly, she was in a trance. She saw a beautiful woman who directed her to a tree full of fruits and told her to always go there anytime she was hungry. The woman also advised her never to give up because better days were ahead. Suddenly, Ma opened her eyes and saw the same tree just on the other side of the river path. She quickly walked to the tree, took a few fruits, ate and was so full that she went on her way, feeling so happy. When she got home with the water and firewood, the aunt was so surprised because she never knew Uma could be able to do the chores on an empty stomach. Uma noticed the way her aunt was looking at her, so she smiled and went into the kitchen to continue her remaining chores. While it was dark and bedtime, Mma's aunt came to where she laid and woke her in anger, asking her if she was a witch of some sort, because how could she have been without food for two days yet? She was a child and happy. Uma kept looking at her surprisingly, wondering if she had actually planned to stab her to death. The aunt told her that she must leave her house that night because she couldn't keep harboring a witch in her home. On hearing this, Mma broke out in tears, pleading with her to please have mercy because she obviously did not have anywhere to go. But the plea fell on a deaf ear, and before she knew what was happening, her aunt had thrown her clothes and bags on the ground asking her to leave. With tears, Uma picked up her remaining items and left the house with nowhere particular to go. While she worked, sobbed and wailed, she was all by herself in the middle of the night. In fact, 
in the middle of nowhere. As she approached the village market, she saw glimpses of light and made up her mind to walk towards it. Perhaps there could be hope there. On getting there, she realized it was nothing but a remnant of fire, probably lit by one of the market women to help burn the waste products after daily sales. This made Uma feel so bad that she sat close to the fire, crying. She cried and fell asleep. In a dream, she saw the same beautiful woman she saw in the trance at the river path. This time around, she was smiling at her, telling her that her suffering was almost over and soon she would experience a great change. In the same dream, the woman urged her never to look at the past with pain or regret, but with gratitude for the lessons learned and the trainings received. In a while, Uma woke up to a gentle tap on her shoulder. It was that of the village guards on duty that night. After hearing her story, they took her to the palace, where she slept in the guest hall until the next morning when she was brought to the royal family for questioning. After she narrated her story, the king felt so sorry for her and immediately ordered the guards to arrest the wicked aunt and her entire family. On the other hand, Emma was kept in the palace and after a few months, the prince proposed marriage to her and the traditional rites took place after a few weeks. Then, she became a full member of the royal family. Years later, she gave birth to Obiora, the heir apparent to the throne after his father's reign. Do you know that the Ahafe Oloho Olowa's palace, situated in Awo, a local government area in Ondo State, southwest Nigeria, stands as Africa's largest palace. Recognized as a national monument by the Nigerian federal government in year 2000. This expensive palace spans 180 acres. Knowledge is power. Thanks for watching. Love from the classic series.